The Pittsburgh Penguins were up against the cap. They had about $8 million in space, but still had Russ to sign. Still had Sheehan to sign, who, you know, everyone was quite impressed with during the season. So something had to give. Rutherford needed a way to shear off some of the salary. Rutherford had to find a way to hunwick some of the... Oh, that doesn't work. So there has been a trade with the Buffalo Sabres. Now, granted, the Penguins haven't got very much for Sherry, who's probably worth more than a fourth-round pick. Or it could be a third if he scores 20 goals or 40 points in a season, which is the oddest stipulation in, like, draft history. Usually it's, like, if they play this amount of games, not if they do this. Or if Hunwick gets traded next se <laughs> Sorry, I can't even get that out. If Hunwick gets traded next season, uh, then that counts. <laughs> no one's taking that. So, thus, the Penguins had to settle for a fourth or possible third to get Hunwick off the books. Penguins wanted to shed salary. They accomplished that in this trade. They could have got more for Sherry, clearly or Sherry, or whatever the hell he likes to be called. I always call him Sher. If I could turn back down. So they accomplished getting rid of Cap. The Buffalo Sabres, who lack Fords and maybe getting rid of Ryan O'Reilly, get a Ford who can actually play in the NHL. So technically they have won the trade. Hunwick will also make the lineup and probably make their defense a little bit better. Although if you Buffalo fans didn't like wrist line and you're in for a real treat. So right now the winner is Buffalo, but it depends on what the Penguins do with this cap. Number one, they re-sign Riley Sheehan to $2.1 million for the next year and for a center that can go up from fourth line. He really impressed last season. So it's a fair deal for all involved. He's also a first round pick and they usually get, you know, a little bit more just for being drafted in the first round. Now it's what the Penguins do with the rest of this cap which defines whether they won or lost the trade. And putting Jack Johnson on a five year deal is not the way. Mark Madden has had a lot of news lately about Jack Johnson signing a five year deal and then retweeting his own tweets and constantly saying that Pittsburgh is his, is his town. And we just live in it. Although I don't live in it. Yeah, yeah, picking up Johnson on a multi-year, five-year deal, even though the Pittsburgh defense isn't the greatest, isn't the smartest idea in the world. But it's yet to be seen, although I don't think anyone's knocking on the door to give him a five-year deal. Anyway, guys, that is the whole video. What did you think of the trade? Did you like it? You sad to see Sherry go? I mean, he had a couple of good moments. He had a couple of Hunwick didn't, but yeah. All right, if you did like this video, hit the like button, always hit subscribe, and that's the whole video. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. See you, and bye.